Hey everyone, this is James here with uh, another quick Mod MX3 um, tutorial, sort of. Uh, I just made two quick different looks real quick. Um, and it's like a red and blue uh, Perlin effect from the effects generator. And the next one is just a, you know, a white chase. You know, one, two, one, two. Um, right now they're just going off with the, the timing that was default but you know if I right click and go to triggering uh, step on BPM you can see it's right now it's set to audio so the audio will will do the BPM so if I start talking really really fast and all that stuff um, well, uh, so if I so I start talking and the BPM picks up and watch it watch it start going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, but I stop talking. It stops. But if I just do tap just do slow BPM one, two, three, four, four. Or do a fast one. Or you can use really fast. And if you had like a MIDI time code, uh, like a software that sends out MIDI time code, and you're using maybe something like a uh, loopy virtual MIDI driver or something like that. You could send out of your software the MIDI time code, your MIDI clock, and send it into the program via edit and uh, preferences. And you can go to MIDI. You can set up a MIDI clock, and that will let you. You can have you know all your cues set to follow the BPM of whatever song you were playing. You don't have to resync anything. Just rely on your DJ software to send the cues, uh, to send the BPM to the cues. So this is really handy. I personally like to tap, you know. Well, but audio works well if you have audio. But for the purposes of this tutorial, my voice <laughs> isn't a really good source for audio. So I'm just gonna stick with tap for now. But yeah, right click, triggering. BPM, step on BPM, scene on on BPM, fade on BPM, uh, seed on, scene on for me is still a little weird, I'm not really sure, uh, so, it's kind of, kind of just keeps turning itself on. Poles, seen on poles, or seen on poles. I'm not really sure exactly what it all does. Turns it on when it detects the pulse. So this is if this were like a flash button, you'd see it come on. Maybe we could do that real quick. Uh, make this a flash mode back here. And enable it for BPM flash. And so yeah, so as it's being triggered, it's switching up a little bit. So yeah. that one you might need to play with. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. I haven't had a lot of time to play with it yet. But you can just do pulse, fade on pulse. Uh, so I'm gonna do that. Let's get rid of flash mode. Turn right on, or tap. So yeah, I mean that's how you can um, step on BPM. If it seems kind of slow when you step, just do fade. Fade on BPM. So yeah. That is a quick look at uh, the BPM 
triggering options. Uh, again, you can have you know different groups of stuff. Also on some on pulse, some on tap, some on MIDI, and they can all be playing and they'll take that info info at once because the pulse will still get its BPM, but it's just from the pulse. And then you know if something's listening to MIDI time code, that can also be done at the same time. So pretty sure you could uh, you could have you know this could be tap tempo this could be pulse and then I could have another scene here that would be like uh, MIDI time code in so just yeah uh, like right now I'm on tap but this thing is only responding to the pulse that the microphone is getting from when I talk into the microphone so it's kind of like a well, I'm a light puppet <laughs> um, yeah that is just a quick video quick look at uh, BPM sound triggering options in my DMX3 uh, I hope you enjoyed it Hope you learned something if you have any questions let me know in the comments email support find us on Facebook you, you know how to get a hold of me so um, all right take care bye bye